This video shows the benefit of using fiber tape cerclage stabilization of a traditional SER type ankle fracture when using the fibulock nail. The benefit of cerclage tape in a fracture pattern like this is that it allows you to be able to anatomically reduce the fracture using a clamp, but then be able to remove that clamp while the cerclage tape holds the fracture together during the nailing process. So one of the major benefits of intramedullary nail fixation using the fibulock for an ankle fracture is the ability to obtain anatomic reduction through small incisions and then stabilize the fracture through the fibulock. So I've cleaned out the fracture site, I've defined the cortical edges to be able to know if I'm anatomic or not, and now I'm ready to reduce. One of the key things for this reduction maneuver is to be able to pass the cerclage tape before you put the clamp on so that you don't risk knocking your clamp off during the passing portion of the cerclage tape. For this technique to pass the fiber tape cerclage around the fracture, I use the blue disposable fiber tape cerclage passer. This also comes preloaded with a nitinol loop to facilitate passage of the fiber tape cerclage. To facilitate passage, usually I like to pass the fiber tape cerclage passer from posterior to anterior, allowing me to not get into the perineal tendons. Sometimes it can help to get your retractors potentially out of the way or use a different retractor to be able to facilitate passage. So now the disposable cerclage passer has been passed from posterior to anterior across the fracture site. As you can see on the x-ray, that the fiber tape cerclage passer has stayed close to bone during the entirety of the passing around the fibula. Now we can deploy the nitinol loop, and that brings the nitinol loop into the field to make the passing portion of the fiber tape cerclage much easier. I'm now going to pass the fiber tape cerclage as well as a fiber link into the nitinol loop. And then by pulling that back into the passer, I can now bring the fiber tape cerclage and the fiber link around the fibula. Now that the fiber tape cerclage and the fiber link have been passed around the fibula, and one key thing to do a second pass with the fiber tape cerclage is to now bring the entire fiber tape cerclage all the way to very close to the bone. This keeps you from having to overcome as much friction when you're eventually going to tension the fiber tape cerclage. To make the second pass of the fiber tape cerclage, I'm now going to load the fiber link, and then by pulling on the other limb of the fiber link, that's going to facilitate the second pass of the cerclage. So now we have both limbs around the fracture site. The next step in this technique is to gain your anatomic reduction. So you're going to move the fiber tape cerclage out of the way for just a few minutes to get your anatomic reduction, and then you're ready to provide reduction stabilization with the fiber tape cerclage. So now anatomic reduction has been achieved of the fracture site. Note that there is still a gap here in this cadaver model secondary to the kerf of the blade that was used to make the osteotomy, but in real clinical practice, this should be an anatomic reduction with direct compression of the fracture site. While holding this reduction, now I can use the fiber tape cerclage to maintain the reduction. The fiber tape cerclage is then loaded using the card, and the racking hitch is removed from the card. You're going to pull the entire limbs through the racking hitch, now reducing the racking hitch down to bone is just a simple pull. If you have any trouble overcoming the frictional forces, you can use a hemostat underneath the first pass and that can overcome the frictional forces. I'm going to demonstrate that now. So by getting the excess out around, it will facilitate being able to fully bring the racking hitch down. Now one thing to note is that you eventually are going to have a knot here, and I think it's better to have that knot more anterior so it does not bother the perineal tendons. So I'm going to purposely try to bring that knot more anterior. And this also can be facilitated by a hemostat or a right angle. Now that the fiber tape cerclage has been passed twice around the fibula, I'm now ready to tension the fiber tape cerclage using the disposable tensioner. I've now cut the end of the fiber tape cerclage to provide two different tails. One of the tails is now going to go through the hole in the disposable tensioner, and the other portion goes into the slot at the end of the tensioner. I'm now going to load the tensioner. One limb goes around the left side and is cleated, and then the other limb goes around the right side of the tensioner and is cleated. The tensioner is now placed collinear with the knot and directly on the knot and then tensioned. You can even note in this technique that despite the fact that I had a large clamp compressing the fracture, I am gaining compression of the fracture site as I tension. 
can pay attention to the lines that are on the back side of the tensioner to know how much tension you have actually applied to the fracture site. There are four lines and you don't want to go past the fourth line. In this case, I feel like I've gained a tremendous amount of compression using the fiber tape cerclage and am satisfied with the maintenance of reduction. I'm now going to release the tensioner by turning counterclockwise and uncleat the different limbs of the fiber tape cerclage. I have now gotten the amount of compression with the initial tensioning using the tensioner. I'm now going to throw a knot, just a traditional half hitch, reduce it down to the racking hitch, and then I'm going to retension one more time to make sure there's no more slack in the system. Now that I've thrown one half hitch, I've now tensioned that down with the tensioner, and that is now the amount of tension and compression that I want using the fiber tape cerclage. At this point, I am now done with the tensioner but I'm now going to throw two more half hitches to secure the knot. Now you can see that I've tensioned the fiber tape cerclage. I have anatomic reduction and compression across the fracture site, and now the clamp that was holding reduction can now be removed, and the reduction is maintained. As you can see, now I can cut the tails of the fiber tape cerclage, and now there is nothing in the way during the fibulock nailing portion of the procedure, and it is much easier to facilitate that portion of the technique. As seen on this fluoroscopic image, you can see that the fracture site is now compressed and anatomic reduction is maintained by the fiber tape cerclage.